two, one per person. So these two students have volunteered to allow me to check theirs. So the first thing you want to do is try to find a place where pictures make sense. So just to be easy here, we wouldn't have to go very far in theirs. We could maybe try to find a picture of the man, the builder, Whiskey Dave, General David Bradshaw. And, or we could even find a historic picture of Myrtle's Plantation. So if I go to Google, because Google makes it really easy for us to search pictures. My computer, of course, is going to run slowly while everyone's waiting. Is that what you think it is? It's supposed to be able to handle this much inf um, information, but it depends on what other people are doing around us. And then we, oh, that's not it. Put in what we're looking for. It's not with an apostrophe. We are going to look for images. So here are a bunch. I have to try to find one that I think adds to it. We're in that history section. So sometimes we have to change our search word or search term to limit it down. The old one here that's supposed to be showing even the ghost. I like this one. So I like to visit the page so that I can see if I'm going to be able to work this. So this one has a date, it has a title, it's here. I think we could work with that. So um, to save it, you've got to click on it and save the image as. If you're working on a, a desktop like this, you're going to be able to just copy and paste it in. But on the Chromebooks, we need to save. So, And we also have to make sure that when we save it, it saves as like a JPEG or a GIF or something like that. So I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to save that into... documents where I can find it again. So to get it into our picture, or into our document, da, 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 see what we can find. Maybe I want to put it here. Insert image. Choose one to upload. Put it on my desktop. And now I can move it around and I can resize it. If I use fixed position, I can sort of like embed it alongside like a <coughs> magazine might do. And or resize it. You want to make sure that you don't have like a couple words floating off to the side like this. That looks weird. So you need to move it over. So that's part of it is to get a picture into your document. The second part is to make sure that we put it into our Works Cited page. And so we would have to use EasyBib for that again. EasyBib is easy but not quite so easy to do pictures as it was to cite web pages because we're not citing the website we just want to cite the pictures so we have to go to all 59 options over here on the side to find how to cite a photograph or a comic if that's what you want to use or a digital image if you're using something like a graph or a chart but this one's a photograph so I'm going to use that there's the comic one, digital image if you're using a graph or a chart. There might even be one for, no, nothing for chart. 
So I am, uh, oh, if you find a painting or artwork, it's going to be done this way. I'm using a photograph. It's not a personal photograph, so we have to type in everything we know. Do we have a title on our picture? Historic photo of Myrtle's Plantation. You put in as much uh, that you can as much as you can find, capitalizing it correctly. I can't really tell if this is a collection. What is this? House Crazy, it looks like, is the collection or the bigger site. We don't have, oh, that's, no, that's not here, because this is if you actually look at it. We're going to a website, so we're going to go down here, and that's where it is, is House Crazy. Is there a sponsor? I didn't. Bonita Cyril? Is that what we would put there, do you think? And we're going to leave the URL out. Do we have a date that she put this up? 2013 there. Anything else up here? Up. Oh. 2012, December 30th, 2012. And access today, create citation. So now we have a photograph that cite a citation that we can copy and paste into our works cited page. We're going to have to alphabetize it ourselves ourselves we have here um historic so we're going to go to their paper and it's going to be the first item on the works cited page historic photo so let's just kind of get uh there we go we have a picture in a, um, a, a historic picture in the section on history, and we have that picture mentioned in our works cited page. You need to make sure each you you each author puts one picture into the sections that they wrote, and one thing into the works cited page.